this everybody is quite possibly one of the most spectacular sunrises I've ever seen but of course I probably say that every time I see a sunrise I'm not going to ask Fergus to turn the camera towards me my name is James Hendry hello say hello Fergus hello Fergus is on camera and we are currently looking at an apple leaf tree which is leaning over the top of the great golden orb of the sun that has just popped up through the mist and is turning the sky from oh it was quite grayish this morning not because of clouds but because the dawn is grey and it's turning it all sorts of shades of gold and orange and above that which we'll show you shortly is a beautiful blue sky hashtag safari live is how you get hold of us and that is uh, what you must <laughs> Sorry, one second. Hashtag Safari Live is how you get hold of us. And you can ask us any questions, give us any comments. And Anna Marie sent through the first comment. And she says, oh my goodness. I thought, sorry, well, I think it was, oh my goodness, this is so wonderful. It is. It is just very special. And again, I'm not going to ask Fergus to move the camera just yet, but 180 degrees from where you're looking now, there is a herd of impala, which I will just describe to you. Once Ferg's had enough of the sunrise, he can turn the camera for you. And they are walking through the mist, and they've now just been sort of covered in a gentle sort of, uh, what would we say? It's almost like um, translucent cotton, golden cotton wool they're covered in. We're doing this very slowly, you see, because we don't want to jerk around a bit. We wanted to keep it as zen as possible. Good morning. And there, the impala. And as per usual at this time of year, a very subdued morning chorus. The most noticeable sound is the per metallic percussive sound of the parrots in the background and then the crowned lapwings. <laughs> and those impala are looking deeply upset about something. So whatever has made those lapwings upset, the impala are clearly... Now this is very interesting. We are often asked about animal communication. Can animals talk to each other? Do they understand each other? These impala have recognized the call that those lapwings are making as an alarm call. They've all lifted their heads to look. Well, many of them have lifted their heads to look. Now, I don't know if Jamie mentioned this, but there were distress calls last night. There were calls of a male leopard around here. And of course, only now that it's got light will we be able to have a really proper good look at what's going on. And now, Ali, you're saying, what is a leopard sawing? And you've never heard of the term. Well, it's, it's the term given to the noise that they make when they're making their territorial call, Ali, and it sounds like a blunt wood saw hacking through a particularly hard piece of wood. So it goes a little bit like this. <laughs> you can see how shocked the impala is. But that's basically what it sounds like, Ellie. That's not why the impala's... The impala's not conned into thinking that that's a leopard. It's just thinking, what a strange noise I'm making. But that's basically what it sounds like, and that's why it's called sawing. <laughs> 